If you are asked to find the end of the pullback, you can use indicators like MACD that gave an excellent win rate on the trading rush channel, or you can use something like this, a not so RSI indicator that we saw in the previous video. When I tested the Williams percent range indicator 100 times, I found out that it does a faster job at detecting the end of the pullback. But since faster doesn't always mean useful, it won multiple trades in a row at the start as you can see in the trading rush app, but then the profit graph line stopped moving up or down. The Williams percent R indicator detected the end of a pullback with good accuracy, but soon it was quite noticeable that after a decent sized pullback, it was giving signals at almost every momentum loss. For example, this is a good downtrend. The price is below the 200 period moving average, and when the upward momentum of the pullback was lost, the Williams percent R gave an entry signal pretty much at the first red candle. This trade was won because the price made a good move in the trend direction right after this red candle. But if we scroll to the left a little bit, you will see that when the price doesn't immediately go down, after the first momentum loss of the pullback in a downtrend, the Williams percenter indicator gives entry signals at almost every red candle. That's not all. Since it gives faster signals, the trade often stopped out because the price made a move in the opposite direction, touched the stop loss, and then moved towards the profit target. Because of this, the profit graph went in the upward direction when the trades were won, but then came down when the Williams percent R gave false signals in a bigger pullback. The Williams percent R is good in the good market, but then again, almost every strategy performs well in the good market. In the trading rush app, it got a 44% approximate win rate, and the Williams percent range trading strategy we discussed in the previous video, made money because of the 1.5 to 1 reward risk ratio. But if we look at the profit graph, we can see that for the most part, the profit line almost went in the sideways direction, and not consistently going up or down like some other trading strategies we have tested on the Trading Rush channel. In the last video we saw that Williams percent range was similar to the stochastic indicator, what's interesting is that the stochastic indicator we tested 100 times, and this Williams indicator both made money, and won multiple trades in a row at the start, but then lost momentum. So the similarity checks out in the profit graph as well. The Williams percent range gets a TR score of 24.3 out of 50. And on the Trading Rush website, it ranks 19th from the top, below the RSI Supertrend Trading Strategy, and above the whole moving average with SMA Strategy. That's all. Like the video to see more. Thanks.